How cancer is mostly caused by the intake of acidic food. An acid body is a magnet for sickness, disease, cancer and aging. Eating more alkaline foods helps shift your body's pH and oxygenates your system. Alkaline foods keep your body healthy and functioning correctly, preventing and combating cancer. Cancer main causes by the food we eat. Some time ago we consumed a diet of mainly alkaline food but that has changed and rate of cancer also. The majority doctors don't inform you on the correct food to eat to stay free of cancer and what to eat to cause the body to remove it naturally. The foods we eat in today's time contain both acid and alkalizing forming elements. A diet of mainly acid forming food can contribute to cancer and the common diet here in the Western culture. Americans diet today is mostly acidic. If you are fighting cancer you need to balance the body's pH level because cancer will thrive in an acidic environment whereas an alkaline environment will remove cancer. We see more people with cancer today than ever before and it's because of the typical western diet is far too high in acid producing foods such as animal products which include dairy products. The foods we use to eat like freshly grown fruit and vegetables were much better for us. So the best solution is to make some dietary changes. The alkaline acid ratio is measured on the pH scale which ranges from 0 to 14 with 7 being neutral. The lower end of the scale which is from 0 to 7 is acidic and anything between 7 to 14 is alkaline. The easiest way to find out what foods are either alkaline or acidic is to research which foods are alkaline or acidic more so than others. Also test your alkaline level often. While a diagnosis of cancer may have other contributing factors the food we eat now is the main cause. Many years ago before we had supermarkets we were eating a healthier diet, now because of processed foods and the popularity of fast food outlets our diets have changed. A diet of food from an acidic range is causing many health problems now and cancer is just one of them. For instance many of our foods are refined and most of our breads and other baked foods are made from refined white flour. Some other examples of acid forming foods are, pasta, cheese, ice cream and butter, jams and jellies, alcohol and soft drinks. All acid forming foods are not necessary bad, it's just our diet is out of balance and if you are dealing with any serious health problem it's essential to look carefully at what you are eating. Some of the alkaline foods are, fresh fruit and nearly all freshly grown vegetables. Also consuming, nuts, seeds, grains and legumes are all alkaline foods. It's important to remember that the changes you make to a more alkaline diet have many health benefits including removing cancer naturally. While cancer has some other contributing factors the most influential cause is what we eat because our health is directly related to our dietary choices. Our diet has changed over the last 40 to 70 years and most of what we eat now is available in supermarkets and supermarkets have an overwhelming influence on what we now buy. Much of what's available in supermarkets is processed and because of it, this food is low in nutritional value and that is without question the reason why there is so much cancer now. It makes a lot of sense if you are dealing with cancer that the first and the most important change you make is with your diet and that you select from a more alkaline range. Also make sure it's fresh and if all possible that it is organic. There are two types of acid and alkaline foods, one, acid or alkaline foods, meaning how much acid or alkaline the food actually contains. Two, acid or alkaline forming foods meaning the pH condition foods create in the body after being digested. Acidic conditions inhibit nerve action whereas alkalinity stimulates nerve action. Cold showers make the blood alkaline, while hot showers make the blood acid. A balanced diet helps to maintain the pH balance of the blood. Results however take more than a couple of days to show up. If blood develops a more acidic condition, then the body will inevitably deposit the excess acid to another area of the body so that the blood will be able to maintain an alkaline condition. As this cycle continues, these areas will increase in acidity and some cells will die. The dead cells will then turn into acids. 
some cells may adapt and instead of dying as normal cells do in an acid environment, they will survive by becoming abnormal. These abnormal cells are known as malignant cells. Malignant cells do not correspond with brain function nor with our DNA memory code. Malignant cells grow indefinitely and without order. This is cancer, and cancer develops in the following stages. 1. The ingestion of numerous acid-forming foods, fatty foods, refined foods, carcinogenic substances such as nitrates, cold cuts, hot dogs, sausages, aspartame, and chemically treated foods. X-ray and airport body scanners also contribute. 2. Constipation is increased. 3. An increase of acidity in the blood. This stage causes an increase of white cells and a decrease of red cells, which is the beginning of leukemia. 4. An increase of acidity in the extracellular fluids. 5. An increase of acidity into the intracellular fluids. 6. The birth of malignant cells. This stage of cancer is known as initiation. 7. Further ingestion of multiple acid foods. Traditional treatment includes high levels of radiation, chemicals and drugs. This stage is called cancer promotion.